do the editorial for task K, Stones of the Atcoder DP Contest. Okay, so essentially how this problem works is you have a pile of a bunch of stones, K stones, you have a set A, A of 1 to A of N, and you have two players. You start from, you know, Taro, first player, and you can choose any element in A and remove exactly that many stones from that pile. And when you can't play, you lose. So, how does somebody lose? What do you mean when you can't play? What that means is you cannot remove exactly K stones from that pile. So that essentially means like, if you, okay, so let's note this down, right? So you lose when the pile has less than the minimum of A stones, okay? So let's keep that. All right, and as you can see, there's up to 100 values of A, and K is up to 10 to the power of 5. So make sure to look at these. These are very important for the solution, right? Two seconds, so we can do maybe NK, you know, that's probably the maximum. All right, so let's look what we have here. Here, if it's 4, then if Taro removes 2 stones, then... The next guy can also remove two stones, so then he would lose. So instead he would do three, because I would leave it with one, which is less than any of these. Okay, so the only thing essentially that matters is, you know, the current, the current number of stones in the pile. And how would we find whether this can be, like whether this would be winning or losing, right? So if we can figure out if this is a win or a lose, then that can inform, you know, other decisions, right? If we have more stones than this, then if this is a win, you wouldn't want to give your opponent this many stones. But if this becomes a lose, you would, would want to give your opponent this number of stones, right? So following the DP philosophy, how, how can we do this using, you know, previous, you know, previous values, right? So let's say, let's try doing it with the number of stones, right? Let's say I have DP, which is just the number of stones in your pile, right? So zero to K. Look, how can we do this? So DP, of zero up to min of a minus one is clearly a lose, okay? Um, you know, as we got from here, that's a basic definition of a lose. So that means the easiest way to win is anything from the range here plus, you know, any value ai, right? Anything in the set i or ai means that you will win, right? So for example, for this one that we had here, where you had two and three, that was A, and K, which is the initial amount of stones, is four. DP zero was a lose, DP one was a lose. So if you had DP three, you know, which would be, you have two, or, you know, if you had DP3, which means you had, you basically added two to this, right? So two, you, ha you had three and you took away two, and that would be a win for you because you've given a losing situation to your opponent. Or if you had DP2, that would also be a win. And from this, we can see DP4 is a lose because DP4 is two, you know, it can either be DP1 plus a 3, plus 3, which means this guy would win. Or it would be DP, if we did it from DP2, right? So you subtract 2, this would be subtract 3, this would be subtract 2, here you'd lose. But obviously if you're in this situation, you'd always win, right? So this way we can see that 
since 4 is k, you would win, right? Because if you minus 2, you're going to lose. Don't want to do that. But if you minus 3, then you win. So this is essentially what you're going to do, okay? So the way this is going to work is you can initialize this state here, right? Just by the definition of the problem. And then what you can do is for each dp, you know, let's say dpi, you, right? So for, for each i from 0 up to k, right? Or technically, um, you know, what you would really do is from min a um, to k and for j which is from 0 to basically len of a right which is, is same as n you'd basically say you know if this is if i is my like current number of stones and i am subtracting this many stones like i'm using this value ai or it would be aj in this case can i win so all you would check is you would just do you just check if dp of i minus a of j is lose so if this is a win or if this is a lose then that means if you subtract this many you know if you subtract from this pile you're handing your opponent a loss so obviously that would mean you win so then you can say dpi mm -hmm. so then you can say that dpi is equal to win because you know if you take away aj from that, you get a win. Otherwise, you would basically just initialize in it all dp you know, of anything to lose, because initially it's a lose, right? But you're always trying to get it to a win. And then all you do is you would return, you know, if dp of k is a win you would give first but if dp of k is loose loss then you go second so i hope you can see how this works essentially all we're doing is we're using information about the past to say okay if this is if this is the current number of stones given what the a is can we find any way to get to a losing situation? Then we can win. I hope this is helpful and helps you understand DP. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you in the next one.